Welcome back. Thank you so much. We are glad that you are watching. Now, we are still continuing with our discuss discussion and let us see how we can stay safe, especially on social media, emails and everything else. Please don't go far. Uh, Karibu tena. Now, uh, how can a person, uh, because of late we have been seeing that, um, for example, on Facebook, uh, you, you are okay, you are innocent, but people are calling you and are te uh, uh, they are telling you, what is that pornographic video, video on your wall? The truth is, you cannot see the video, but according to the video, you have posted it, and worst of all, you have tagged several people without your knowledge. So people are asking, how can so and so tag uh, me such a pornographic video? Now, it, it is happening too much. People are stealing their identity, people are taking your name, and then they are posing like they are people and they are, they are you know, they are taking money from people, especially the public figures. Now, um, without talking about what is really happening, because that is not important, how can, uh, what could my, or what might that person could have done to expose himself to all that? There are different ways of exposing yourself mm -hmm. over the social media mm -hmm. platforms especially. Uh, one will be putting out too much information about yourself mm -hmm. and about your personal life okay. to be specific. Mm -hmm. There are people who from the minute they get out of bed, they are always posting, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing to the last minute. Week. Exposing too yes. much you of put your in so personal much, life. Yeah, and your family mm -hmm. and your friends and where you are. People who want to do ill to you can just actually get that information and know exactly how to hit you back. Yeah, that because they are, they are getting it right yeah. from wherever they are. Yeah. And you, you are there, you are even posting photos yeah. wherever you are. Yeah. And it is true because people really, okay, they are lying about yeah. their social media yeah. life. Eh? <laughs> so that is dangerous. Yeah. It's mm. really, really dangerous because yeah. you're exposing too much of yourself. Okay. Again, people who don't log in and log out of their accounts. Mm -hmm. And that is very, very, I mean, I think 99% I think of the population do that. Because it's, it's convenient. If I can just come put on my mobile data and I'm having my feed streaming in, it's easy, it's convenient. You mean logging off and on from your private phone? From your, Yes, from your but private Evelyn, phone. Evelyn, this is your phone. I mean... I know. That is the <laughs> conventional truth that mm -hmm. people think this is mine. There's nothing that can happen. Mm -hmm. But for instance, even just the basic security tips that you have. Someone, you're walking on the street and someone steals your phone. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has gone with everything that belongs to you. Mm -hmm. Your emails are logged in, your social media is logged into. I mean, if I wanted to steal something, for, I mean, money from your family, I will call them with your phone because it's just there. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's just like the, some of the basic, you know, practices. That so you what you are saying is that um, when I'm using my own phone, mm -hmm. I should log in yes. and I should log out yes. my phone yes. and also like my tablet. Yes. Okay. Wow. Especially also when you're using communal uh, appliances. Because mm -hmm. if you're in an office and the machine that is allocated to you is also allocated to A, B, C, and D, mm -hmm. that is not your computer. Like for example, when you are in a corporate, yes. Yes. whatever, yes. and you are using an office phone, yes. you are supposed every time to be logging in, logging out. Yes. Because there are so many people who are using the same mm -hmm. access, yes. the network. Yes. Yes. Okay. And mm. the thing that people also do forget is, mm. I was employed here yesterday. Mm. I left my personal information mm. running on this computer. Mm. Tomorrow I don't belong to this company again. Mm. That is there for people, people's eyes to see. Okay. And it is your personal... I mean, that is your personal information that you've left exposed to other people who you don't need to see that information. Oh. Yes. So that is a, it's this common practice. Mm -hmm. When you're done accessing this particular page, just mm. log off, come next time, mm. log in again. Mm. It seems like it's a lot of work, but it is a security tip. Yeah, that you and, and it is very important. Yeah, it's very important. So you have heard that even if it is your own phone, please log in and log out after doing everything from your own phone. Because you don't know what may happen. Because mm. I'm even thinking, what about when you are just you have just logged mm. in, mm -hmm and you have not logged out, mm -hmm. and immediately your, your phone is, you know, is marked. Mm -hmm. That person will go with the whole information mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. Okay, what are the other ways that we expose ourselves? We expose ourselves when we go to websites. Mm -hmm. Let me call them websites because even Facebook is a website. Yeah. Uh, when we go to websites and find, you know, funny, funny kind of information 
but you do not think that it is bad. By this I mean, mm -hmm. someone has posted you a link to uh, a, a financial institution claiming that you have won some money. Uh, yeah, yes. those ones they are very common. Yes. That you just uh, log in into a G Gmail, mm -hmm. and there is like a message there, mm -hmm. always blinking, yeah. blinking. You have won. Mm -hmm. Congratulations! Mm -hmm. Please click here. Mm -hmm. huh. The thing about hacking is mm -hmm. it, it comes in two different ways. Okay. One is called phishing. One is called farming. Mm. Farming is where you will find someone has sent you a link, and they are telling you put your personal information, not knowing that you know, it, it, before it registers to you that. I had not subscribed to any of this, mm. but you've already click send because the information that is there presented to you is so luring that you know I'm going to win five hundred thousand. This is what I need to do. I just need to put in my phone, my my number, my email, blah blah blah. You've already done all that without thinking this could be a scam, and there you go. Your information is already out. So once you click send or mm -hmm. submit, mm -hmm. the information goes back to the person who is actually now trying to hack into you. And they will get your. You've given. You've willingly given them your personal information. <laughs> that is one. Out way. of consent. Yes. And and then something that I'm getting that when those forms you are supposed to fill, it is very easy. By the way, they provide very easy information yeah. because they just tell you your phone number, yeah. your email address. Mm -hmm. Now my question is, when you feel that, it's like they have gotten access even to your Gmail yes. without your knowledge. Yes. And you think that you have just given a very you know. The, the, the easy information yeah, about your basics, yeah. But it's like this person, you have given him your what details. they need. They, they, actually, what they are asking from you is mm -hmm. what they need. Okay. You will think it's very basic, mm -hmm. but that is exactly what they just need from you, mm -hmm. and they're easy. They're easy to go. In, in the yes. name of when you fill this form, you yeah. have one piece of yeah. Because, I mean, the content is normally very, very, you know, exciting. It's very temptuous. And it looks yeah. genuine. It looks yeah. genuine, yes. So when those forms, they, they like, they come. What what are you, are you telling our viewer? We just ignore them. Well, especially for the ones that claim to be from banking institutions. <laughs> I mean, it's easier for you, especially for the people who do subscribe to online banking, which I'm not one of them. By mm. <laughs> people subscribe to online banking. Yeah, go to the the particular bank's website from the original site. Yes. Mm -hmm. for the bank. If it is cooperative bank, go to the cooperative bank website. Mm. Let no one send you a link claiming yeah. that, you know, when you click this, you go through this, this is what is going to happen. Mm. Because banks normally don't give that kind of information. Okay. Yes. So this is a bad shortcut. That is a bad shortcut. I mean, it's greed. Mm. It's greed. It's okay, so those those informations that they always appear, mm -hmm. you need to ignore them. Yeah. Okay. And the other way mm -hmm. of uh, exposing yourself would be what we call farming. Now those pop-ups that come, you have won an iPhone, click here once you click what happens is that you you're actually commanding an execution to run within your your computer hmm. yes so you're installing a program at the back end that just is not by click just by clicking what that person wants is you to click that's wow. it you they, you click and by the time it is giving you some things to read there and you're so mesmerized and fascinated the software has installed and i have the access i need to get into your computer so once you are doing that they are installing a software yes. to take all your information. Yes. Just uh, to yes. click. Yes. That's dangerous. <laughs> it's very dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so all, all these are ways of exposing yourself. Yeah. And, and they are very important. Mm -hmm. So what should a person do? First and foremost, what I advocate a lot, a lot, a lot mm -hmm. is change your passwords periodically. Mm -hmm. And don't open emails that you feel you know, there's always that sixth sense that this email doesn't look genuine. If you've already had that feeling or that thought, just don't open it because that can be a scam. So you, you mean there also, you can also receive an email that it's not genuine. So when you also open it, it, it exposes you. Yeah. So you should look at the, you know, it, it always has a headline mm -hmm. there. You should check what am I opening. Yeah. You better t uh, throw it to trash. Or mm -hmm. try and use... Now, the, the other way, if you, you are not sure, because some people will use actually genuine Gmail, Hotmail, even Outlook uh, accounts mm -hmm. that will look genuine. Because mm -hmm. the whole idea of someone trying to access your information illegally is for them to put themselves as genuine as possible. Mm -hmm. So they will still use the normal Yahoo and Gmail. Yeah. So now that's where you get advanced uh, software to scan through your, your emails, your appliances. Mm. There are some people who go to websites and they do not know those websites have viruses. 
and they wanted to do to get some information or they wanted to listen to something and without their knowledge it is downloading stuff mm-hmm. just a virus that is now going to start scanning through your machine and trying to expose what is inside there mm-hmm. so it is it is very important for people to be aware that those kind of things do happen even with without your consent without your knowledge so have have equipment or have software that now scans through your website scans through your email scans your applications okay. yeah because then now that that now gives you security at an advanced level all right yeah. uh, i had you talk of changing our passwords mm-hmm. eh? and people are very busy with mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. 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 because uh, they normally say i might forget eh? mm-hmm. And sometimes these emails or these passwords, they are they are their kids' birthdays, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> so they keep on or they are reminders. Yeah. So a person feels like if I if I do this, if I change, it is not safe for me. Mm-hmm. But uh, according to what you are saying, mm-hmm. it is very very important mm-hmm. because it can cost you a lot. Yeah. Uh, and, and and a person can only change even one letter or mm-hmm. one number. Yeah. The thing, the thing is, mm-hmm. have have a standard password that you will not forget. Even though it is that child's name, mm-hmm. it's that child's birthday, mm. but make it very sophisticated. Like for example, there is Tom, yes. like like Tom, uh, 1900. Mm-hmm. So you can keep on changing. The Tom is still there, yeah. but you are playing with the number, You're the 1900. The number. Yeah. You can use 2000, yeah. everything. Yeah. So you have a standard mm-hmm. password, mm-hmm. but keep on changing. Yeah. Or make the numbers symbols. Okay. Yeah, because mm. if it is Tom 2000, mm-hmm. just do Tom shift 2000. Oh, that okay. converts the 2000 from numeric to a symbol. Mm. That becomes easy because you know my password will always be Tom 2000. Mm-hmm. But then the hacker doesn't know what what 2000 is because just make it so difficult for them to you know to make get it difficult to get for the, the hacker. No, get, give them a hard time. Mm. The thrill is when you're doing the hard work. And they give up. They will eventually give up. More, sometimes yes, sometimes no, but just give them a hard time. Mm-hmm. Let, by the time they're getting through, let them have, you know, they've gone through such a hard time. Mm. Yeah. Which is wow, now. wow, wow. Yeah. That is very, very important. And um, now, there is a, a software that you people put, eh? mm-hmm. uh, especially on uh, in, a, in a corporate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you need to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, something to do with corporate. It's mm-hmm. both for corporates and homes. Mm. The, the firewall is, is one, it comes in a hardware form and it has software installed. Mm-hmm. The software has an antivirus, it has an anti-spam, it has a web filtering mm. uh, and it has support in, in, in now installed into the, into the hardware. Okay. What happens is we do the policies depending on the kind of environment that we are going to install it to. So if it is a home setup, mm-hmm. we will create policies that are convenient for a home setup. If it is a commercial enterprise, corporate will now put policies that are relevant to a corporate okay. setup. Yes. All right. Uh, now, now, let me ask, eh? when, when, for example, you have already been hacked, mm-hmm. maybe because of our, our, our need for money, mm-hmm. I have gone to Gmail and I'm being told that I have won a million. So I have clicked, I have done all the processes, mm-hmm. eh? and I'm hacked. Mm-hmm. Is there a limit? Because there's a program of repairing broken soul. <laughs> there is a person who has, you know, who is going through that. Yeah. Is there something that can be done? Uh, or you can simply open a new, a new, a new Facebook or a new Twitter or... Having, going the route of opening mm-hmm. new is not sorting the situation. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Being aware that those kind of things happen is a start. Mm. Then what are the kind of, of um, what are the kind of, Secu- what are the what are the security policies that you're applying within your own environment to ensure that you don't get hacked? Mm. Think about it in this sense. The way you have built a home, a very nice home in, with a piece of land that you bought, mm. the kind of security you do put up, first mm-hmm. you raise a wall. Mm. On that wall you will put some the uh, fencing, the mesh wires, yeah. yes. Mm. You will probably put an electric fence. Mm-hmm. Uh, that not being enough, you will put some soldiers standing at the door so that at least they are they're restricting in and out. Okay. Um, on your own door, you will probably put a wooden door, you will put a grill door, a burglar door, then there are padlocks. I mean, those are kind so of security. So basically, secure yes. yourself. Secure yourself. Now, Evelyn, eh? uh, there is somebody who has whose internet or whose uh, social media or Gmail is already hacked. And uh, everything uh, around is going viral. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So, what can I, that person do? First, uh, I would I would request them mm-hmm. to 
now change their passwords mm-hmm. immediately immediately change your password mm-hmm. so that whoever is posting things on your wall doesn't have uh, access anymore okay uh, again you know there is a cyber crime unit that you can report mm-hmm. yes so they can report yeah they can report the cases they mm-hmm. can be investigated especially for corporate people who actually lose a lot of data mm-hmm. uh, or people who have been hacked into and someone has encrypted your files mm-hmm. in such a way that they are asking money mm-hmm. well, then now that becomes a, a crime okay you can now engage the authorities to apprehend those people there are some the, the social media has come up with some shame groups let mm-hmm. me call them shame groups <laughs> where if for instance someone now you know they're trying to say you are good or a, or a good yeah a good mm-hmm. more or less mm-hmm. and it's not genuine mm-hmm. you can put them on a shame group and say oh, you know yeah. Evelyn Casina blah okay. blah blah whoever yeah. whoever yes. shame them okay. shame them and make them now go make it now it go viral mm-hmm. that this particular person is not being very kind to you mm-hmm. they are out there to spoil your reputation anyway mm-hmm. and they are lying to you so it's it, there are different ways where you can now you know just cover yourself oh you cover yes. yourself yes. even after the when the damage is when done when the damage is done it's okay never now yeah. people are asking where they can get you so uh, how can people get you to get the cyber security mm-hmm. they want physically we are located in Kinelesho mm. on Olenguruon Avenue that is on the new bypass mm. uh, on social media we are on Twitter at evminet underscore ke mm-hmm. on Facebook we are at evminet communication solutions our website which is evminet.co.ke mm-hmm. readily available mm-hmm. we have youtube channel mm-hmm. and uh, we engage people even with blogs mm-hmm. you know okay yeah. so you, you give security at home mm-hmm. corporate and also on, on blog yes okay yes that is very important yes. uh, any any phone uh, you can give uh, give uh, maybe a company phone because i'm sure you receive this our mm-hmm. telephone number mm-hmm. the office telephone number is 0733 mm-hmm. 392827 okay now uh, in a brief eh, because of time you can give um you know, your, your your last advice mm-hmm. to our viewer mm-hmm. concerning cyber security mm-hmm. what i would say to parents young or old uh, be very cautious of what your children are accessing over the internet yeah. pay attention and just secure that environment for them make it very safe that they don't have they will never have to say that this was given to me and there was no limitation to it because what is available on the internet can be good and it can be bad so have be aware that there is an ill that is there mm-hmm. and take precaution on it okay that's very important now cyber security and cyber crime I'm very sure that now you have been educated about how to stay safe on the internet. This internet is how we are living and it's our life. But now please take care and I know that now you also apply a lot of cautiousness where it deserves. Now thank you so much for watching us. Please let us know your thoughts about our today's episode on Antitrufena on social media. Uh, on Facebook and Antrofena on Twitter and now also you can send your SMS on the phone uh, on the phone number that is right on your screen is Antrofena show with Pia Brooklyn so I have been your host Antrofena till next time bye